Hello and welcome to China Daily's The Week, your source for all the news you don't need. I'm your host, Belle Taylor. First to Australia, where a large kangaroo has been terrorising the residents of a suburb in Brisbane, the country's third largest city. Despite the popular notion that Australians travel to work in the pouches of kangaroos, in reality it's more likely an Australian will leave a kangaroo as roadkill as they mow down the animals as they drive to work in their four-wheel Ws. The kangaroo, who has been given the totally inappropriate kangaroo name of Dave, is two meters tall and weighs 95 kilos. The technical term for that in Australia is built like a brick shit house. Dave has been giving city dwellers something of a shock when he suddenly pops out from behind a bush as people are walking their dogs. Despite being built like a bodybuilder, Dave doesn't seem to want to cause too much trouble, and so far interactions with locals have been friendly. A man in Fuzhou, Fujian province, has made headlines after a photo of him getting his teeth cleaned by a bird was circulated online. People are saying it's unhygienic, but have you seen the cost of dentists lately? They are being seriously undercut by the small bird brigade. This guy is not only getting his teeth cleaned on a park bench, he's saving money while doing it. If I could be entirely groomed by small animals, I would. And if you were being honest with yourself, you would too. A man in Huangzhou was prevented from entering the subway for the absolutely understandable reason that he was carrying a large box of live bees. The man said security was being unreasonable and the box was perfectly secure. To prove his point, he kicked the box, which fell apart, sending 100 live bees swarming into the crowded subway platform. This, of course, really got things buzzing, with the bees stinging several commuters and police having to destroy the insects. It was a literal sting operation. The man eventually was forced to pay compensation to the people who were stung and educated about the dangers of carrying live bees on public transport. We can only hope that education also included a brief rundown on why he shouldn't take a bull into a china shop or snakes on a plane. And that's all from the week. Have a great weekend.